subscribe so you don't miss out on what's new with UFOs. So I've been reporting the news now on UFOs for a number of months and what I have noticed is in a lot of the videos that get sent to us or that are out there online is we see a lot of orbs in the sightings. So I've been trying to answer the question to why that might be. What you're seeing here is a picture of a gentleman called Boyd Bushman and he allegedly worked for Lockheed Martin on black book projects on projects on ufos and they allegedly have contact with beings from other planets that travel across the galaxy so i'm going to play this section of the video right here and you see that boyd is holding up a picture of a ufo but what is interesting is what he says here no we aren't going through motherships or anything like that Nevertheless, those are the view of, now when they actually get powered up and actually start traveling, it turns like this. You do not hear sound. They're up, they, they travel like that, they look like that, and they travel extremely rapidly. So there we go. Boyd points out here that once these things are activated, they turn from what would be a typical flying saucer into what you can clearly see there is an orb in the sky, which is what we're seeing with so many of these sightings. So if indeed, and there is a raging debate on the internet about Boyd Bushman right now, if indeed this guy is the real deal, and the pictures that he shows in this video are factual items, then we have our answer to why we're seeing so many orbs in the sky. And one of the things that you guys don't know, because I haven't really gone into it, is why am I reporting on UFOs? Why did Beth and myself decide to come together to create Shed Show Talk to shed light on this subject? And that's because I actually had my own experience with UFOs. And at the end of the video, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a clip of something that's very, very similar to what I saw. Our first report comes from Nesta in Sweden in Stockholm County. And our reporter here was out on his lawn with his girlfriend. And they noticed a plane with orbs following behind it. And he managed to take a picture before it went out of sight. And I have blown this up a little bit. You can clearly see there the two orbs following this aircraft. And there is many incidents reported around the world of these orbs following aircrafts. And actually, it connects to my sighting that I'll be talking about later on. Here's the uh, original picture, which was took on February 25th uh, from the camera. But again, a really strange sighting here. If you've ever been on a plane uh, and you've seen these orbs out of the window, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Write to us at shedshowtalk at gmail.com. Our next sighting comes from Vero Beach, and I will link the news article to this down in the description of the video. And this is with the father of the disclosure movement, which is Dr. Stephen Greer. And I've been following Stephen Greer's work for many, many years now. And I still believe that the greatest single thing that Dr. Greer did was bring the disclosure movement together, where he brought military personnel from around the world, government personnel from around the world, including governors, generals, majors, all together to discuss their version of events and what they've witnessed with UFOs. And what you can do with Stephen Greer is you can actually go to these UFO hunting sessions with him. And again, I'll link Stephen Greer's website down. Some people think that Stephen Greer is kind of crazy. But when you really start researching into the UFO subject, you kind of have to believe that there's anti-gravity and you kind of have to believe that there's all of these technologies. And when you try and make sense of them, it would be like trying to make sense of where does the universe end. So I can understand that you could maybe seem a little bit crazy 
when you're delving as deep as what Stephen Greer has done into the UFO subject. But let's take a look at this video. Someone's infrared or whatever. Yeah, that's Charles. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, here they come. There are two. Whoever's right in the front, if you can kind of just stay low. Wow. Okay, so there you go. You can see there that they're observing the one light and another light on the horizon comes that's above the shoreline so it's not a light from a ship or anything like that and Stephen Greer has become famous for his sightings from around the world and it, it really if you have the opportunity uh, and certainly something I would love to do is to go out meet Stephen Greer go on one of his UFO hunting events uh, and you get to see some strange things and I just don't know what to fully make of Stephen Greer right now. I am following him. He has a new documentary coming out soon. I think he's done a lot for the movement. And if he's to believe, he's briefed presidents and officials on this subject. Uh, again, I'll link that down below in the description of the video so you can check it out for yourself. Our next sighting takes place in Jersey City, New York. And this viewer was walking back home after being dropped off from work. And he saw some flickering lights. So he took his phone out and he recorded it. And at first he thought they could be lanterns or drones, but he filmed some of it and time seemed to fly. After quickly returning home, he realized what they could be. And he left in a hurry because he was nervous when he saw what appears to be faces in these objects. So here's the film of these lights that are in the sky. And you can see from the video here that they expand and shape shift. It's really quite bizarre. So this took place in the early hours of this morning. But again, if you were in the area and you saw these lights or you had something to do with them, let us know here at Shed Show Talk. But at the beginning of this news report, I did kind of elaborate to the reason why I'm interested in UFOs. And I had my own sighting, as many of you guys out there have had. Unfortunately, I don't have any evidence to back this up and me and Beth have both looked into the possibility of a polygraph um, just so we can actually prove what it is that I saw or prove that I really did see what I saw and I, I've never taken any hard drugs in my life so uh, I was completely sober when when this event took place and what you're seeing here is a picture uh, of a park in sale in Manchester it was back in 2008 and I was walking my two dogs, uh, Mac and Lucy, who are still with me today. And the Golden Retriever tends to be pretty lazy. Uh, and the Border Collie requires a lot of exercise. And I think that the Retriever gets a little bit angry at the Border Collie because he always gets the ball and so on and so forth. Anyway, we're coming back off our walk here, uh, which we used to do every day. Uh, I'd take them onto the park, uh, around the park, and come around, and then we'd just extend the walk by coming around this section here, and then back off down this road here. And the Golden Retriever was lagging behind, and the Border Collie was in front, so I turned around and I was calling Lucy to get a move on. She was taking her sweet time about it. And up in the sky, uh, coming across from south to north was a passenger plane and it was like a 737 or something like that something to that regard I'm, I'm not very well up on planes i don't particularly like flying 
So when I see a plane in the sky, I tend to look at it. And then off in the distance, further off in this direction, uh, I caught a glimpse of some objects. And at first I thought that they were smaller aircraft, maybe jet aircraft. And they were just absolutely moving in, in this direction. Meanwhile, this plane is, is coming across here. And these objects, and there were six of them, were like white orbs in the sky as they got closer. And in my mind, I thought that these might have been missiles or something like that, that something was launched at this plane. And just as they started to impact the plane around here now, they all start spinning around the plane. It's broad daylight. And these white orbs, I actually ducked because I thought they were going to impact the plane. And I put the hands on my head and they started spinning around the plane. Now, for me, no man-made object would do this. No human-controlled plane or anything could, could even achieve what these were doing. And they were just spinning around the plane. And then after a few seconds, they all took off and just went towards, and this way is towards Manchester. Now, to give you an idea, there's around uh, four to five million people that, that live in these areas, in the in the greater Manchester area. And I did report this on a UFO website when it happened, and I've never been able to find the report again. But what I'm going to show you now is a video, and this video was taken in 1997, I believe. And it was in an area of Britain where crop circles were being made. Now, the only reason I'm showing you this video is because it closely resembles what it was that I saw on this day. Not the crop circle, just the movement, the way that they worked, the way that they move in this video. It's just identical to, to what I saw. Okay, so here's the video right here, and you can see these orbs just spinning in this picture around this field. And again, it's not the crop circle here, but just the way that these orbs are, are moving and they're changing direction. It, it's just really incredible, and that is what I saw spinning around that aircraft back in July 2008. And it really changed my life forever. And I was talking about this on some of our comments on one of our videos, a World Leaders video that we'd done back when we started the channel. Uh, the YouTube user was Eternal Seeker. And this is really why I'm here. This is why we're here, is because of that sighting that took place, which just, again, it changed my life forever. And one thing which Eternal... Seeker had said in the comments was, because we were talking about our experiences and what we thought was the best evidence that's out there of UFOs, we actually both agreed that the best evidence is what you see with your own eyes. There is nothing like having an experience on UFOs by seeing it with your own two eyes and knowing what you've seen and knowing that it couldn't be anything of this earth or under human control, it may be something of this earth that we just don't understand, but of, of human control. And we both agreed with that, and it was really interesting. And what's interesting about our disclosure video is all of the world leaders that are talking about disclosure and the cover-up of UFOs, when these are the very people that a lot of us look to, to disclose and to tell us what they know, what the government, what information the government has collected. And that's really the whole point of it. And of course, we had George Bush just talking about UFOs and saying that there were secrets that he wouldn't tell anybody. He wouldn't even tell his own daughters. So we are being prepared. It's a very soft disclosure right now. And we feel that 2017 could be a huge year for disclosure. So we're going to continue to report on all of the news. And if you've got any stories or any evidence that you can show us and send to us, then we'd love to hear them here at shedshowtalk at gmail.com. And again, we really appreciate you watching our videos. 
hit the subscribe button, comment in the video below. We'd love to know what you think of the subject. And if you've had any experiences of your own, please share them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to us because we are releasing videos almost daily right now, which isn't our intention. We, we really are releasing videos as we see the information coming out on the internet. And sometimes we might capture some older information, but it's new to us and we absolutely want to bring that to you. But for the most part, we're reporting on sightings that are happening in the last two or three days. Uh, and we do that on Mondays, on Wednesdays, and on Saturdays. So be sure to check back with the channel on those days because we will be releasing videos for you to see then. Again, thanks for watching. Me and Beth really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing what you have to say.